my dear Darwin, do you think our young friend here, equipped with a multiplicity of talents, might be enough to ensure Mr. Hammond safe passage? I do not believe I've had the pleasure of meeting a Mr. Hammond. A mutual friend of ours. He arrives in London today. From South Africa, no less. Mr. Hammond is possessed of both tremendous wealth and charming innocence. Which makes him rather attractive prey for some of our great city's less savory inhabitants. We fear he'll need a more robust escort than two old men might provide. I'm actually rather busy. We have already told him to expect you. His train should have arrived ten minutes ago. Then I shan't keep him waiting. Splendid. Off you go. Mr. Hammond, I believe? That is correct. Evie Fry. Mr. Dickens sent me to meet you. Oh, good old Dickens. How very kind of him. Lead on, then. How's your brother? Not dead yet, I hope. London. Can't say I've missed the weather. My father passed away recently, and I have come home to settle his affairs. Also, I am to be married. You don't sound too eager for the happy event. I have never even met my future bride, Bella Wilton. It was all arranged for me. She may be a good woman, or she may not. I stand to inherit a vast sum. Can I be certain that the lady is not simply in it for the money? dead and have thus shed my fortune. I shall meet Bella Wilton as a nobody. 
We shall see if she'll have me now. Come, we must dispose of my body. Find us a carriage to take us to the river. to see her response. to see how she reacts to the news of my death. Come on, hurry up! This is taking far too long. Miss Wilson? Yes? My name is John Rokesmith. I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. Oh? Your fiancé, John Hammond, was found dead in the River Thames this morning. Oh, how awful! Poor Mr. Hammond. I am at a loss at what to say to you, sir. You must forgive me. She is delightful. Why, I do believe I love her. I hope she's more intrigued than she is appalled. 